Welcome to Thriving After 50, Mind, Body, Soul. In this episode, I am going to share foundational information about this podcast and why it's so important for you to join me here at Thriving After 50, Mind, Body, Soul. My main goal is to add value to your life so that you can thrive and live your best life. So join me, Coach D, as I share vital information that will assist you in improving your health, mind, body, soul. I'm Coach G, and I'll see you on the next level. Hello, good day. Welcome to my first episode of Thriving After 50, Mind, Body, Soul. I'm Coach G. And in this episode, what I like to do is I want to spend a little time in sharing the foundation for this podcast. My main goal is to become an asset in your life, to assist you with improving your health and the quality of your life, mind, body, soul. Simply put, I'm here to add value to your life. Everyone should know who I am. Everyone should know what I do. And everyone should know how I can help you improve the quality of your life. So let me introduce myself. I'm Coach Greta Ross, affectionately known as Coach G. I am a certified life NLP, CBT, naturopathic master coach practitioner. I lost over 100 pounds uh, transforming my own life over 10 years ago, and I have been able to keep the weight off for over 10 years with no surgery, no dieting, no pills. See, here's the thing. I was diagnosed with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high A1C, and diabetes. Let me tell you a little bit of my story. I had acid reflux so bad that I couldn't lay down and sleep. That's why I went to the doctor because I really wanted to find out what the, what the deal was. I didn't know that it was acid reflux. Got to the doctor. The doctor informed me that, um, I did have the high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high A1C and diabetes. And of course, um, the doctor wanted to put me on medication and, um, I come from a background where I, I, I just never, I didn't grow up on medication. I, you know, I didn't do the whole doctor thing. I grew up with my grandparents, which were older people, and uh, I didn't see them take medication. You know, everything was home remedy. So um, medication was really just kind of out of the question for me. So I did not um, accept the uh, medication. So what the doctor told me at that time was, she says, you could walk out the door and have a massive stroke or heart attack at any moment, at any moment, and you might not survive it. Well, that kind of shook me to the core. I got outside in the car and I sat there for a few minutes and I just started crying because I was only 55 years old and I just was not ready to die. Um, I didn't want to leave my babies, uh, my daughter and my grandkids. And so I sat in the car and I cried and I um, and I went home and I told my husband what the doctor said. And on the way home, I just I just didn't really know what to do. I knew that I didn't want the medication because I just didn't want that to be my life. So I went home and I talked to my husband and I told him what the doctor said. And I knew that I had to do something. I didn't know what to do, but I knew I had to do something because not doing anything was not going to help. It was only going to make matters worse. So I thought to myself, I said, you know, God created my body. He knows exactly what wrong, what's wrong with it. He knows exactly what to do in order to fix this. So I figured, well, let me go to the creator. Let me go to the one who created my body. Let me go to the one who knows everything there is to know about my body. So my husband and I went walking because I didn't know what else to do because I was seeking answers. I said, God, I got to, you got to tell me what to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop walking until you give me an answer. And, um, 
it didn't come that day. My husband and I walked and we walked and we walked and prayed and walked and prayed. And um, we ended up walking like 30 miles unintentionally. And then we add that it was definitely unintentional. We did not do it on purpose. Um, we was just walking and praying and talking and um, we got so far. And then all of a sudden we saw the sign that was in the opposite direction that said 15 miles, which was back in the direction of going home. So that, you know, we had already walked 15 miles, but in order to get back home, we had to walk <laughs> another 15 miles. Uh, so we walked the 15, we walked the 30 miles that day. I still didn't get an answer from God. Um, so I went out the next day and I went out the next day and I went out the next day um, because I just did not want to stop until um, I knew what it was that I was what I needed to do. But what I didn't know was, is that during that time of walking and praying, um, I was actually, it was a benefit to that. Um, I was, uh, the more I kept walking, the better I was feeling. Um, and the better I felt, the more I wanted to keep walking. Um, but I had a whole lot of other issues going on. It wasn't just, you know, the, the, the diabetes and the cholesterol and, and the blood pressure. Um, I was also overweight. I weighed 237 pounds. So what I did was uh, I walked and I walked and I walked and, and I didn't know what else to do. But during that time, I kept walking and praying. But here's the thing that I discovered with that was it was doing a couple things. It was giving me some kind of peace of mind, knowing that I was doing something. I started seeing some results um, with my body. I started slimming down when I put on my clothes. Like, oh, this is a little loose. Oh, this must be working. I'm doing a little something here. Um, and then my relate with me walking and praying, my relationship with God just went to a whole nother level and, um, not realizing, but that's where mind, body, soul shift was actually, um, that's, that's how it was created. Um, God showed me that my mind was at peace. My body was being, um, was definitely improving. My health was improving and my relationship with God, with God just went to a whole nother level. And I'm telling you, it was amazing um, to see that now. The other issues that I had was I wasn't sleeping because of the type of job that I had. I was a facilitator at the time. I was working with investors um, who some investors had the money. Some investors was looking for investors who had the money. But the thing was, is that some of the investors that was either looking for an investor or who had the money, most of them weren't even in this country. So I had to be up pretty much around the clock to deal with these investors. Some of them may have been in Switzerland or Germany or Dubai, wherever they were, I had to be on their time schedule. So that meant that I didn't get a whole lot of sleep because every day I was just basically just up. Um, so that was the first thing. I wasn't getting any sleep. The other thing was I wasn't eating properly, which I didn't know at that time how it was affecting my health. So I wasn't sleeping and I wasn't eating. The other thing that I wasn't doing was I wasn't getting the proper amount of water that I needed. Um, and of course, I wasn't getting any exercise. I would go from the from my desk to the bathroom, to the kitchen, back to my desk. So I didn't get any form of exercise whatsoever. So those four things right there were were my enemy. And I didn't, I didn't know that, um, you know, not eating, um, played a big factor, a huge factor, not getting any sleep played another big factor because I didn't realize that weight loss is directly linked to sleep. Um, and a number of other things, you know, like clarity of mind, um, your memory, you know, those kind of things when it comes to sleep. And, uh, I definitely wasn't drinking enough water, um, you know, so those things are so important. And those are the things that I want to talk about um, in the, in this podcast, because you need to understand how they all, they're integrated. They all work together. So getting back to the story, I, I continued to walk and, and I started to, to see the, the inches to coming off. Now, it did not happen overnight. It took some time. Um, it took me about a year and four months to get down to 120 pounds. Once I got down to 120 pounds, I have been able to maintain that. Actually, right now, I weigh myself today, and I'm at 130.2, uh, which is good because I was actually trying to gain a few pounds. Um, I am 66 years old. I do go to the gym six days, five days a week, but um, 
being 120 pounds at 66 years old or 65, I just thought that I needed to, to, you know, add a few pounds to that. So um, I weighed myself today. I'm at 130.2 and I was real happy about that. But um, there were so many bad habits that I had and I didn't even realize it. And I think that's, that's pretty much most people's problem. They don't realize how important the sleep, the, the exercise, the water, and uh, what we eat on a daily basis and how often we eat and how important that is. Um, but we have to um, get a handle on that because those things, are, they're all integrated. They all work together, you know? Um, so what I did was I kept walking and I kept walking in a year or four months later, I was down to 120 pounds. But here's the kicker, which was the best thing that sh- that really that I was able to see, which was I lost the weight in a year and four months and the weight has not come back at all, hasn't come back at all. Um, because now my sleeping habits are better. My water intake has improved. Um, of course, I'm going to the gym five days a week. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I changed my life. It was a shift. And when I say it was a shift, when mind, body, soul shift was, was born, um, that that's, I didn't realize that God was also giving me a business at the same time that he was also changing my health. But I'm so thankful, um, that I did walk, um, you know, and I tell people simply walking, just simply walking is is one of the best forms of exercise. You know, even if you just do 30 minutes a day, I was able to eliminate, hear me good, come in, come in close. I need you to hear this. I was able to eliminate all those diseases. I was able to eliminate high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high A1C and diabetes. I do not have any of those. Those are chronic diseases that we do not have to live with. I wasn't even aware that I even had high blood pressure. I wasn't even aware that I had diabetes. I was not even aware of that until I went to the doctor for acid reflux, which was for something totally different. But I was able to eliminate those uh, chronic diseases by applying six simple principles, and it changed my health and the quality of my life. I mean, I feel better now at 66 than I felt at 55. Seriously, my, my whole life has just actually just changed. And here's the, the, the good thing. And I'm so, 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 so thankful. I am not on any medication at all. I don't take over the counter. I don't take Tylenol. I don't get headaches. I don't take Tylenol. I don't take Advil. I don't take aspirin. I don't take anything. I do take supplements because um, I need those. I need the supplements, but that's pretty much all I take. And and the, the supplements that I take, they're um, plant-based. Uh, so I know that there's no chemicals in them and I feel more comfortable with taking plant-based uh, supplements. But eliminating the high blood pressure, the diabetes and the high cholesterol and the high blood pressure, and I'm telling you, it was really the best thing that I really could have done. But what I really want you to know is that I do take my craft serious and I have spent countless days, hours, months, and even years gathering information because of what I experienced and what I went through in my life with my health. Um, Spent countless hours researching, getting information from trusted sources, not just anywhere, but from trusted sources, along with my continuing education. You know, um, and it's really important that I continue my education because there's always something that is coming out that, you know, that I need to know so that I I can be able to share um, with you. Um, So, you know, I'm glad that I do um, continue my continuing education along with, um, you know, just doing my research. Anything that come up, somebody mentions something to me, you know, whether it's about, you know, supplements or minerals that our body needs, I will start researching to come up with an answer. Now, here's here's the thing, and I'm just going to tell you how I research. I research tons and tons and tons of sources. So what I do is if I see, if I research, let's say, and I come up and I research, um, mm, I'll say 20 sources. Now, if out of the 20, if 10 of them are saying the same thing, 
then I'm pretty much, I pretty much know that I'm on to something, you know, so that's how I do my research. But my goal here is to add value by sharing practical applications that will assist you in helping you improve your health and your quality of life. But I'm doing it through holistic practices. This is a holistic approach. I'm not, I'm not going to be talking about medication. I'm not going to be talking about, you know, and I know that some people have to be on medication. So I'm not saying don't take medication. What I'm saying is you can get to the point where if you're, if you're consistent and you're diligent about taking care of your health and making some changes, just some small minor adjustments, you know, I'm not saying go to the gym five days a week. That's just my thing. You know, the gym may not work for you. It may not be something that you want to do, you know, but here's what you can do. If you have two legs and they work, you can get out and walk every day, 30 minutes a day, just 30 minutes a day. That's a holistic approach. And that's exactly what I want to be able to bring to you is the holistic approach, not all this other stuff, but holistic. So I'll be talking about subjects like steps to improve your health health versus wellness, how to make adjustments in your habits, how to thrive after 50, becoming aware of your emotional and mental health, which is very, very, very important to your health. I told you they're all integrated and we're going we're gonna to really dig deep into this. Also going to share six principles to better health and wellness. And I have an additional three core principles for lasting results. Three core principles to lasting results. Now that's just to name a few. I believe that the holistic approach to wellness is complete and total wellness. The holistic approach, mind, body, soul. Because if you're not well, mind, body, and soul, then you're not well. You can be well in your mind, but not in your body and soul. You can be well in your soul, but not in your body and mind. So that's why they're all integrated. They all work together. And that's the reason why it's so important that I share with you these values. And they're so valuable. This information is so valuable. I think it's time to become the best version of yourself and thrive. Mind, body, soul. And I am truly, truly looking forward to sharing with you. I'm Coach G, and I will see you on the next episode, and I will see you on the next level. Hey, I just want to thank you for joining me here on Thriving After 50, Mind, Body, Soul. If you were able to glean some nuggets from this episode, become a subscriber. And every time that I drop something, you will receive a notification. Oh, please like it. Please share it so that someone else will be able to glean and receive some information that will also help them to improve their health and their quality of life. I appreciate you. Thank you. Coach G here, and I'll see you on the next level.